solitude. The woman in the Levis poem, that gardenia, that voice whose face had been written about by another poet, ruin she called it, that face, that voice sung with slight hum, a reverie she would have performed in the smokiest spotlight, a woman who could sound weeping into words. Solitude she called spring, bloom, early evening daydream, a lover gone, the permanence of her memory until her lover return, affair, an affair she sang a story to, her voice raspy, wet with whiskey. There are photos, her lips, her teeth, muted, photos of her clinching into a microphone, one eye shut, the other a glazed twinkle. It must have been a man-suit jacket draped over her shoulder, leaving, leaving one arm bare, softly lit, in what looks to be a photo taken in a booth the two lovers could have ambled into on a spring or autumn night. No, I got it wrong. She sang for the tips and might have tucked her folded money somewhere in that shoulderless lounge number she always seemed to be wearing. And she didn't sing of an affair or a man, but of a brothel where, where affairs are acted out with whispers and promises before and after sex and sometimes by appointment. Ruin, no, under, no other word for it, no other face, no song she sang to make it so, for it wasn't a song, it was a moan a brothel noise, a pitiless echo of the ruin. That echo, that fruit, she must have known years later, dying in a hospital was, a, was the same as dying in a brothel, the same lynching, the same rope.